Captain, sir, I think you better take a look at this. Holy monkfish! <laughs> before school. Hey, girl. Ah! Uh, wow. Hey, Clover. New shoes? Like them? They're inflatable. Oh, yeah, they're great. If you're a circus clown. <laughs> oh, we'll see who's laughing when the super tall, super hot, superstar player of Bev High Basketball asks yours truly on a huh? date. You know he only dates tall women. Should have known this was about a boy. <laughs> That giant woman. Good morning, ladies. I trust you found the tram ride enjoyable. Oh, yeah. My eyeballs needed a good blow dry. Yesterday afternoon, the luxury cruise liner Juliet disappeared in the Mediterranean Sea with 200 passengers on board. It vanished from radar, a complete mystery. And it's our job to solve that mystery and find the missing passengers? Precisely. Now, let's have a look at the gadgets, shall we? Aqualypse waterproof lipstick doubles as state-of-the-art scuba gear, Scanman 9000 portable radio and radar scanner, Ice Queen perfume, actually a concentrated freezing agent, perfect for cooling off a hot date, or stopping an attacker in their tracks. Next, we have Cyberjacker sunglasses that automatically hack into any computer system. And finally, you'll be getting a brand new rash. A rash? But my makeup's hypoallergenic. R-A-S-H, Clover. Rocket-powered amphibious stealth hydrofoil, which you can remote control with this diamond ring. Oh, wow! So here's the ring. Where's the boat? You're sitting in it. The autopilot will take you to the ship's last known coordinates. Begin your investigation there, and Clover... Yeah, Jer. Would you please take off those ridiculous shoes? <laughs> According to the Global Positioning Satellite, this is the spot where the Juliet disappeared. Juliet! Juliet! Wherefore art thou, Juliet? Jerry was right, Sam. There's no sign of a cruise ship on the radar. But freaky, there's an island nearby that's not on the map. Not on the map? I bet it's an exclusive tropical spot. We should definitely check it out. Or we could just stay here and enjoy the jacuzzi. <laughs> this is no jacuzzi. It's more like a... Whirlpool! <laughs> Pool, Clover's shoes may be used as a flotation device. Question is, what caused the whirlpool? 
Forgive me. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm not used to visitors on my island. I'm a fisherman. Name's Trode. Oh, we're looking for a missing cruise ship. And there's a tunnel leading from the crime scene to your island. You haven't seen like 200 people wandering around in Hawaiian shirts looking kind of lost, have you? They're afraid not. And that tunnel is just an abandoned oil pipeline. I'm sorry, ladies, but your missing ship isn't here. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Trode. Uh, Mind if we have a look around before we go? Mm, suit yourself. We've got company. Then get rid of them. Whoa! What kind of creature leaves a print like that? I don't know, but I bet the Whoop computer does. Hey, Jerry, no missing passengers yet, but we found this freaky footprint. I'm sending a scan for computer analysis. And in just one moment, I'll tell you. Oh, that's odd. The print doesn't belong to any known species of animal. <laughs> Ew! Bug! Well, other than a weird little fisherman and some unknown species of animal... I'd say this island's deserted. One thing's for sure, there's no spa. Looks like you need a little spa treatment. Those eyebrows are looking pretty bushy, girl. Whoa! When's the last time you waxed? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Not all types of music soothe the savage beast. But they looked almost human. What kind of beasts were they? Hmm. The kind that wear cheap jewelry? <gasps> That's the Juliet Cruise Line's logo. Must have belonged to a member of the crew. <laughs> you know, I think those freak shows may be the passengers. <gasps> That's impossible. How could... <gasps> Clover! Okay, I need to wax. I get it. <laughs> Whatever happened to those passengers is happening to me. <laughs> but how? And how come it's only affecting Clover? Uh -huh. Ew! Bug! The bug bite! What kind of stupid bug bite turns people into poorly groomed weirdos? This kind. A dart thingy? Ew! It was nasty enough when I thought it was just a bug. Since we're on his island, I'm guessing uh -huh. that Trode guy's the one who fired it. Then let's hurry up and kick his butt! I mean, look what his freak serum did to my new shoes! There is a 
tropical spa. See, my spa sense never lies. Looks like it's been abandoned for years. <laughs> if it's so abandoned, what's with the electric fence? It's getting cold out here. <laughs> Wanna go inside and do a little spying? Spoken like a true ice queen. Okay, this spa needs a decorator because I'm not getting that soothing and natural vibe. Whatever this guy's up to, it is not good. <gasps> Whatever he's up to, it's probably on his hard drive. Whoa. The serum re-engineers homo sapien DNA to include genetic patterns from outside the species. And that means... The bad guys are making half-human animals. But why? Shortage of new exhibits at the local zoo? <gasps> Guys, I'm hungry. How about we talk about this over a tasty saucer of milk? I already infected... Ah! Company! The other two will be next. <gasps> That's Helga von Guggen, the famous fashion designer? She's the one behind this? No way. She must be Fishman's hostage. No icon of the fashion industry could ever commit a crime. One isn't good enough, Troad. Those spies are a danger to my plans. I didn't go to the trouble of engineering a mutation formula and transforming a boatload of people simply for my own amusement. Then why did she do it? Uh, uh, What's wrong? I'm allergic to cats. Sorry. What? Huh? Capture the intruders. Take your best shot. Good shot. Me ow. You'll never get away with this. Yeah. By the way, what exactly are you trying to get away with? Since you're about to be part of my experiment, I suppose I can tell you. Fur ladies. My hybrid creations will become the world's first form-fitting, seamless fur coats, made without a single stitch. Ew! Gross! It won't seem gross when my fabulous fur line has made me insanely rich. Like it? It's genuine lawyer. <laughs> You're gonna need that lawyer when we get finished with you! Au contraire, it is I who will be finished with you. Once my lotion treatment has softened you up, Trode will add the serum. Since we're short on time, you'll be getting an overdose. If you survive the transformation, you can join your friends here at my processing factory in Milan. Processing? Fully automated. I need 200 coats in time for next week's fashion show, so I can make millions. Fast. By the way, if everything goes well, you three are going to be the centerpiece of my new fall line. We gotta get out of here. I do not want to wind up an accessory. Speaking of accessories, yours is blinding me. The rash. Never thought I'd be glad to have one of those. See anything? We must be out of range. But if the passengers came to this island through that whirlpool, then so did our boat. So if I can rewire the transceiver to extend its range... You did it! But I can't reach the controls! Just tell me when to turn. Ready to get wild. Ah! Hey! hey. Yeah. Let me out! Yeah. Ah! Do I have a clear shot? <laughs> Creepy part aside, this was pretty good for our skin. Hello? Clover in danger? No time to web surf. 
I'm using Helga's research to engineer an anti-serum. We have to get this to Clover and the passengers, so we can turn them back into people before Helga turns them into fashion statements. Coat-making machine will have every last garment ready by morning. Patience, pretty kitty. I promise you'll be the first in line. Stealth mode when stinky Bobby Roberti was trying to ask me to spring formo. System, pull the fire alarm, and voila! Empty serum showers for everybody. Ready for a fire drill? Freeze! <laughs> Uh-oh. How about you guys do the freezing? Go first, my dear, but your friends were just so pushy. <laughs> uh, Sammy, your stupid gadget is poking me in the hip. The scan man! We're saved! Yeah, a good radar sweep will fix everything. Not radar, radio. <laughs> Serum fire alarm. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Careful! This vat is full of my mutation formula. Don't! Oh, oh. Excellent work, girls. Looks like you've got everyone back to normal. Well, almost everyone. Hey, girls. Like my old shoes? So, it's goodbye super boots, huh? Does this mean goodbye, Max, too? If Max and I are meant to be, he should like me for who I am. Shortness and all. <laughs> hey, Clover. Ready to watch and learn? <laughs> Hi, Max. Huh? <laughs> Max, are you all right? Yeah. It's just ever since I got decked by this giant woman, I'm freaked by tall girls. From now on, I'm only dating girls who are right about your size. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> 